days later. My inventory. to have found something of mine. I've just been shipwrecked, see, and I... He isn't listening to me. It would seem that there is to be no reasoning with this guy. Excuse me. Look, pal. I'm usually totally against violence on the grounds that I'm not very good at it. However, unless you return that which is mine fairly sharpish, I will not be held responsible for my actions. Please can I have my mucus aid back? It's not yours! What? I said it's not yours! Once it gets washed up here, it but it's very simple. But excuse me. Something must be done about this. again. I think he wants the balloon. All right, weirdo. What's it worth? The shell for the balloon, eh? Hey kid, would you like that balloon? Quite the little chatterbox, isn't he? I'll take that as a yes. Eat your heart out, Phileas Fogg. your game? Hey? I'm on holiday. Didn't you get the message on the answering machine? Uh, No peace. I get no bloody peace at all. Oh, I should have listened to my mother. What did your mother say? What she said was, don't get a job in the public sector, Keith. You'll never hear the end of it. You got a problem with that? No, 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 no stereotypical anorak image attached to it at all. Good. Now, how can I help you? Why are you living in a whiskey bottle? It's affordable and roomy. Plus there's the added bonus that it's full of whiskey. Definitely a favourite in non-corporal entity magazine.
Anything else I can help you with? You could say you've got three wishes, Master. I could. But that might be a bit of a problem at the moment. Why is that? You may have observed that I am currently living in a whiskey bottle. Consequently, I'm not feeling totally at my best re-wish granting. So one might say you're more like a gin e. Surely whiskey e would be more appropriate. Anyway, I'm making no guarantees. What do you want? I wish I'd finished the whole game. That would be cheating. So? No can do. It's against regulations. Anything else you want? I wish I had my mucosade back. Sorry. I can't steal anything. It's in the genie handbook. Well, that's a bit poor. More than my job's worth. Anything else you want? I wish this sad outfit I'm forced to wear was the height of fashion. Even I can't accomplish that. Just my luck. Anything else you want? Genie, I wish for you to make me a prince. Well, I'd love to help you, but... But what? I'd have to pass you on to a higher authority for a wish like that. I've only been genieing for a couple of months. I used to be an actor, you know. Great. Anything else you want? I wish you weren't such a useless genie. I've only been at it for a couple of months. I haven't quite got the hang of it yet. Is there anything else I can help you with? Forget it. I can't think of anything I want at the moment. Suits me. I can make a sound. Several hours of shoveling later. A masterpiece, if I do say so myself. Side of the bee. Really? Yeah. Check it out for yourself. Suffer. 
Now's your chance to... Simon wouldn't do that. He's a nice boy at heart. What do you know, wet pant? Let's put the little git in intensive care. Ow! Remember, pal, don't mess with the big boys. later. Strong <clears throat> decaf. Hi.
Who's it hanging? What up? Safe, man. Sort it. You up for anything, man? Word, brother. Got any salmon? Sure thing, brother. How's it hanging? Oh, very amusing, I'm sure. Is this some sort of bizarre relaxation therapy? Ha ha ha! It's people like you that really make being tortured lose its sting. Always look on the bright side of life, eh? I don't need any cheerful optimism crap, if that's all the same to you. Why are you up there anyway? It's my turn. Hey? What's the point of having an expensive torture machine if no one ever does anything wrong? I don't know. We take it in turns to be tortured, otherwise it'd be a waste of money. I suppose that's primitive culture for you? Exactly, is that supposed to achieve? Stay, uh, if that's okay with you. What do 
I have to do? It's simple. Just get under the bar over there without anything touching the ground. I have to fly under? Except your feet, smart -ass. Right you are. talents will I uncover next? The local currency. I've got three of them. I got the cash, man. now much better if you could speak a bit more quietly it would help ready for wish granting go on then I wish I was back at Calypso's shop Alikazim Alikazam Alikazum happened while I was away. How's the wardrobe coming on? I've got the mucus aid. You must go and rescue her. I can't imagine what terrible torture she must be going through. Never mind. She's a big girl now. I'm sure she can look after herself. So let's get the wardrobe powered up and I can get out of this crazy place. But what about Alex? Sordid has her in his evil clutches. He's going to use her for his perverse experiments. Sordid? It must have been him who sent the wardrobe to get you. Typical master villain. Bloody well coming back from the dead just when you least expect it. What are you going to do? Hmm. I think, given the circumstances, that it's not really any of my business. So I'll just be off, if that's all the same to you. But... 
Good luck with the baddie bashing. But what about it? See you around. <laughs> I suspect sabotage. I thought you might do this, so I took the liberty of removing a vital component as an insurance policy. Damn! <laughs> you can have it back when my granddaughter is safely back. All right. Not that I have any choice. I expect you were wondering how you were going to get the... Not really. Allow me to introduce you to Masala. I wondered when the lion was going to turn up. Does he do tricks? He used to be Alex's pet. You can ride on him to Swordid's lair. It's a bit unoriginal, but uh, I suppose it'll do. Good luck, Simon. Just one last thing. Yes? Would you mind untying me, please? You're a wizard, aren't you? Yes, but... Untie yourself, then. But... I can't do it without my spellbook. Right, Lion. Let's start by establishing who's... Why? That's cleared that up then. Lead on. And thus began Simon's long and arduous journey through dark and trek. It was a journey on which he was to encounter many strange and wonderful things. They were also bloody cold. From the frozen wastes to the barren desert, he journeyed day and pausing only to scrape the sand out of his nose. Braving the murky depths, he ventured into the sea of despair. It's all right to visit, but you wouldn't want to live there. Finally, his journey took him to the area known only as Hell. Uh, I think we should have gone left at that last junction. Uh, or maybe right? Hmm. This can't be right. You can stuff this texture mapping business. Emerging at last from that terrible place, Simon and his new friend entered the... Friend! I wouldn't be here now if he hadn't glued my feet to his back. 